What is up guys, it's your boy Farwild and welcome back to a commentary. It's been a long time since I've done one of these. Last time I really spoke to you guys was on the vlog. But this is more of a um, <laughs> commentary based thing. And this is back to the uh, how to control the game slash in my head series. This isn't so much as an in my head because I'm not actually following the gameplay as a as we go along. I'm more of just giving you general guidance based on Warlord FFA and it's the sick gameplay to put over it because it it shows exactly what I'm trying to get to here. Now, with every game type, we obviously know as I have previously mentioned and repeated over and over again, power weapons are key and of course there is only one power weapon on the map Warlord and that is the shotgun. Now, in itself, the shotgun isn't the most amazing weapon. Like with everything, you have to play to its strengths. So with rockets, you want to be higher up so you can fire down. With a sniper rifle, you want to be far away from the action so you can pick off people as they run. But with the shotgun, the strength is up close and personal. So that's what you have to achieve. So, how, how might you achieve this, you ask? Well, the simple answer is teleporters. The teleport... But teleporters on Warlord are so underused, it's actually incredible. And in BR starts, you're always nearly under pressure. And so they have they offer great escape route and quick mobility across the map. As soon as you pop out of a teleporter, don't be surprised to see an en enemy there. For in and around them, there are so many, I guess, hot spots, if you will, where fights continually happen. And the shotgun just relies so much on close quarters that just out of the teleporter, you're just in an area where it's just always close quarters and it's just brilliant just to pop a few shotgun shells into their chest and they're out for the count. In terms of getting away, the, the teleporters are fantastic alongside the shotgun because as you go through, if they chase, you just turn around and bang, they're out for the count. There's only one spot on the whole map that would be a disadvantage to the side teleporters and that's top mid. However, top mid on an FFA game type when it's now eight players and every single spawn faces towards top mid someone's gonna be pushing him so all you need to do is go through the if, if you know he's, he's shooting you go through the teleporter he has to run around the other side to get shots on you you just double back and by that time undoubtedly the, the guy at top mid would have been hit with nades and certainly be weak and his attention would have been drawn off of you so also shotgun your best friend is the camo if you can grab that camo and shotgun duo off spawn like I did you're gonna be well on your way to having a fantastic game uh, as you saw this one this one I'm playing right now uh, 25 and 2 on the FFA warlord BR starts don't mind if I do um, don't worry about nade spam you're gonna die from nades all the time it's just important that you keep moving with the shotgun don't try to crouch and hide I mean, it does work, but it's not exactly the best technique. Um, one thing also to mention is when you come out of the teleporters, to the left and right, there are little alcove bits which actually provide quite good cover from one side of top mid. So I advise using them if you can, especially if someone's chasing you. If they walk through, you're already behind them to get a back, back smack if you don't have the shotgun or another kill. Anyway, guys, remember, shotguns, close quarters, use that to advantage. Therefore, use teleporters and camo as your best friend. I've been your boy Farward. Like, subscribe, to it, and I'll catch you guys all next time. Peace out.